Hello guys, my name is Noah Merivy, and in this video, you're gonna learn how you can use neuroplasticity to rewire your brain and eliminate an anxiety, build healthier habits, thought patterns, and emotions. And for those of you who don't know what neuroplasticity is, we can sum it up using two simple principles. First, neurons that fire together will wire together. And second, use it or lose it. Your brain is made out of billions and billions of neural structures. Picture it as a map where there are different pathways that predicates how we think, how we behave, how we react, and how we feel. And the more we behave in a certain way, the more we act in a certain way, the more we feel a certain thing, the more this becomes reinforced and the more this forms a neural structure or a pathway in our brain that would automatically be activated every single time we face a situation. And the second principle is also really interesting. Use it or lose it. Even if you already have a neural structure, even if there's already a pathway that's formed in your brain, whether it's a habit or a thought pattern or certain emotional traits, you can change them. If you stop using them, you will lose them. And this is where the first principle steps in. Neurons that fire together wire together. So if you stop using a certain pathway and you start using another one, first, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. And then neurons that fire together wire together. When you start activating this new pathway, when you start activating and do repetitive, consistent, focused action on a new pathway or a new neural structure, what will happen is your brain will get rewired into this new structure. So the first exercise I want to talk about is called mantras or affirmations. Tony Robbins talked about this concept in one of his seminars. He said, and you can also try it yourself, if you go for a run every single day for an hour, if you go for an hour of exercising every single day for a month, and you keep repeating while exercising, you keep repeating the affirmation saying, I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable. Guess what's gonna be stuck in your head after a month? And you can be listening to those affirmations, you can be repeating them out loud or even repeating them in your brain or doing all of that at once. All of those work. There are two affirmations that I personally used a lot that helped me tremendously. The first one is, I am the master of my thoughts, habits and emotions. And the second one is really similar, but you just change the word master to the word control. You say, I am in control of my thoughts, habits and emotions. And there are also other affirmations such as, I am calm, I am relaxed, I am confident, I am comfortable in social situations. There's a huge list online that you can go check out. Just go look for affirmations for anxiety and you'll find a bunch that you can use. But make sure to use them consistently on a daily basis for about half an hour. And believe me, in a month, you'll see tremendous change. Another thing that I tried that also found to be very effective is writing down those affirmations. Make it a habit to force yourself to sit down and write down these affirmations and this can also be really helpful. The second exercise that you can use that's also extremely effective is meditation or mindfulness. And meditation is not that complicated. If you already meditate, that's amazing. But if you don't, and if you're not doing it because you think it's too complicated, it's so easy. And I'll give you an exercise that you can try every single day in a second. But meditation is also something that should be used on a consistent basis. And the exercise is simple. Focus on your breath. Sit down comfortably, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. Be aware of your breath coming in and coming out. And if you try this breathing exercise and you find that it's a bit hard for you to grasp the mindfulness concept, there are plenty of guided meditation videos on YouTube that you can use. And there are plenty of apps on the App Store or the Google Play Store that you can use. In the description below, I put a link for one of my favorite apps. It's called Calm and you can use it. It is life changing. It has meditation exercises for different purposes and also for an anxiety. And the last exercise we want to talk about is called the bracelet technique. It's one of the most effective 
techniques that you can use. I've used it personally, not just for anxiety, but for a lot of other things, and it works really well. So what you need to do is you need to get an elastic bracelet and put it on your wrist. Now, every time you feel that there are some anxious thoughts arising, what you're gonna do is you're not gonna overthink it because when you're anxious, and you start overthinking. You start thinking that you shouldn't be feeling this way, that you don't like the way you feel, you're just gonna end up feeling worse. You're just gonna end up feeling more anxious. That's how it is. You need to accept those feelings and those thoughts. Be aware that they're there. And once it happens, you become aware that those thoughts are there, but don't judge the thoughts. Just snap the elastic bracelet on your wrist and then go and try your best, challenge yourself to do or face the thing that's making you anxious. Whatever it is, whether it's a social situation or talking to someone, just go and do it. Even if you just do it for a second, challenge yourself to go and do it. And once you do it, reward yourself. Whatever the reward is, pick something that you really like or that you really enjoy doing and pick it as a reward. And what's happening is you're rewiring your brain. Every single time you are aware of anxious thoughts, you're not judging them, but you're snapping the bracelet on your wrist and you are associating those anxious thoughts with physical pain. And us as as human beings, we like to avoid pain and embrace pleasure. This is how our psychology works. We don't like to do the things that give us pain, but we like to do the things that give us pleasure. So when you're associating anxious thoughts with physical pain, your brain is starting to get used to the thought that every single time you have these thoughts, you're gonna feel physical pain. And then you go do it, and once you do whatever it is that you were scared of doing, whatever it is that's making you anxious, you actually do it, and you reward yourself, you are also rewiring your brain to think that every single time you do something that you're scared of doing, something that you're anxious of doing, you are gonna get pleasure out of it. First, the satisfaction of actually overcoming whatever it is that was stopping you, overcoming and facing whatever it is that's making you anxious, and second, the reward that you are giving yourself. Whatever it is that you pick as a reward, give yourself this reward after you face your fear, after you face the object that's making you anxious. And once you do that and you repeat the process, those three exercises, it's very simple. Repeat those three exercises on a daily basis and they take you no more than 45 minutes a day and it is worth it. 45 minutes a day, try those three exercises for a month and I can assure you, you will notice tremendous change. You will change and you will rewire your brain into a healthier and way less anxious brain and you will lead a way healthier life, healthier thoughts, thought patterns, behaviors, and emotions. I wanna thank you all very much for watching this video. If you like it, please like and subscribe to know when I'm gonna be releasing new videos for you.